Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my build that I've been working on for a very long time now. Um, it is called Gamma Burner, and this build was inspired by Crowded Planet. He was the one who challenged me to make this build um, over a month ago, I believe. Uh, he challenged me to make a Nova Burner build, and I did it. And it took me a very long time to figure out how to use it, but it finally came out, and it turns out, and it turned out really, really good, actually. So, with all my builds, I'm going to start with the uh, skill tree, then I'll move on to the guns, and then I'll move on to an in-depth part of the video where I break down the build completely, and then I'll go and test it. Normally I test on Athenus, but this time I'm not going to be testing on Athenus just because uh, this build is based around, of course, fire damage, the Nova Burner is fire, so, and on Athenus, you have Trant, of course, which is resistant to fire, and also flamethrowers, which are also resistant to fire. And you never know when you're going to get the badass flamethrowers or whatever, and if you just get one of those, that can destroy your entire run. So I'm going to try to um, find a different place, maybe on Pandora or somewhere, where they're not resistant to fire, and I'll use it there. And then my boss I'm going to go up against is Gigamite, who is not resistant to fire either. So yeah, those are the guys I'm going to be testing on, and yeah, let's just get into the build. With all my builds, I usually uh, fill it up with you guys, but I'm not going to do that right now because I do not have the skill tree memorized, so I'm just going to go through it with you guys now. Um, and yeah, so you're going to want to put five into uh, go for the eyes. This is just this is just to move the skill tree. You don't want to put anything to persistence hunter, and I'll get into that later in the video. So five into go for the eyes, five into frenzy, one into he bites, four into who rescued who just to move the skill tree, but also the health regeneration is quite nice. And then four into bar barbaric yop. I'll go into that in a bit also. As for your uh, augments with gamma burst, you're going to want to put atomic aroma and empathetic rage or impet empathic rage. I'll go ahead and uh, let you guys copy down the skill tree right now and we're going to go ahead and move on. So now onto the red skill tree, put 5 into inter interplanetary stalker, put 2 into hunter's eye, put 3 into head count, and nothing into two thing. So these are strictly just to move the skill tree to get to spider and scorcher which helps you a lot. And I'll go ahead and let you guys uh, fill in the, your skill tree right now and we're going to go ahead and move on to the green skill tree. So with this green skill tree, it is this is basically just for your health region. This is where all your health region comes from to make you a little bit more tankier. And yeah, five into self appearing systems, five into eager to impress, one to my, all my BFFs to move the skill tree, but also to keep your uh, pet alive. One into lethal runes, three into turn tail and run, five into hidden machines. But you can change that out, and I'll tell you guys what you can change that out with later in the video. And then five into rage and recover. The uh, last thing you're going to want to do is put one to power inside. This is extremely important. You want to make sure you get to power inside. If you can't get to power inside for some reason, if you moved your points around, you might want to respect because you need power inside. This is where a lot of your damage comes from. But yeah, besides that, that is really it for the skill tree. We'll go ahead and move on to the gear now. Hey guys, so we're here at the gear, and the gear's not really any anything that you really need in particular, so I'm going to go through this really fast. Um, and yeah, so the first thing that you're really going to need need is a weapon that can set you on fire. I use a little level grease trap, but a little level sellout or anything like that will be perfectly fine. Just anything to proc an elemental projector. And besides that, the only other gun you might need is any gun with the splash damage anointment. I use the Chaosin, but any gun will work. And then for extra measures, you want to have any sort of really good gun, like the clairvoyance or the anything any really good weapon with the Gamma Burst anointment. And this is just in case you accidentally cast your Gamma Burst, which you never want to do. You always want to have your Gamma Burst active so you can spam it, but in case you do accidentally cast it, you want to have a gun that you can um, protect yourself with. I use the Maggie. And yeah, that's really it for the uh, guns. I also use the Reflux just to strip armor, but that's not really important. Um, but yeah, that's it for the guns, and we're on to the shield. The shield, of course, is Nova Burner. This will be your main damage dealer, and any no Nova Burner will be absolutely fine. Uh, the only thing you really want on your Nova Burner is the action skill start anointment, and that's really it, and I'll go into in-depth why this is so important and why this actually makes the build. But yeah, besides that, grenades, any grenade will work perfectly fine as long as it has the action skill and 50% bonus incendiary damage. You want to have the incendiary damage most of the time, but just in case you're going against uh, shielded enemies or cr or armored enemies, you're going to want to have a shock and corrosive one. But yeah, so besides that, 
Uh, your class mod, any class mod will work fine. I have the dead eye for the 50 or the 35% bonus damage against enemies above 75% health. Uh, that's really good. And the only thing I would say is any class mod, as long as it has splash damage on it, the splash damage is insane, and you're gonna want that no matter what. So splash damage, and then the same thing for your elemental projector. Your elemental projector can be anything, but I use auto auto to help me stay alive a little bit. The only thing you really want in your elemental projector is your area of effect damage. That is 40% extra damage, and that is additive to all your other damage as well. That's really it for the gear. Now we're going to go ahead and head into the in-depth part of the video. Um, this in-depth part of the video is about like all the nitty gritties, all the damage numbers, all everything. So if you guys aren't really interested in that, go ahead and skip to the timestamp on screen right now and that will take you to where we're testing it. Anyways, let's get into the in-depth part of the video. So the in-depth part of the video is, I don't really have too much to talk about, but there are a few key things that I want to go over. So you really shouldn't stray too far from this uh, skill tree, because this skill tree I fine-tuned it so much to where this is the most damage you can get. Um, but yeah, so the reason why this skill tree is like this and not anything else because, is because your Nova Burner is not affected by any buffs. No, no gun damage, no critical hit damage. There's only two buffs it is affected by. Um, elemental uh, elemental damage and then normal damage so these are the only two buffs that actually buff it and yeah that's why you're going to want to have elemental, uh, elemental damage the elemental damage for your spider and scorcher is insane and it is additive to all your other damage things so as well as like interplanetary stalker your interplanetary stalker gives you a whole bunch more damage and same thing with the armor damage on your hunter's eye you're just going to want to try to put as many things into damage as possible but I decided to sacrifice a little bit of damage from Hunter's Eye to have a little bit more um, uh, action skill cooldown from headcount. Anyways, I mean, that's really it. The only other thing that I would say is the power inside is needed because, again, it's just damage increase and your, your uh, Nova is already extremely weak. So the more damage you have, the better it'll be. So this, this, this skill tree has been fine-tuned to, to pump out the most damage from your Nova Burner. burner. Um, but yeah, so that's really it for the skill tree. We're going to go ahead and move on to the gear now. So the gear um, is pretty self-explanatory. I'll test it for you rather than explain it. You're just really going to want anything to set yourself on fire to activate that um, to activate that elemental projector and then use the 200% splash damage. And I'll go ahead and show you guys right now what the 200% splash damage uh, does compared to not having it. So without having it, and I'll go ahead and change to the, uh, this weapon. So I don't have the... Uh, I don't have the splash damage anoint on right now, so this is going to be the bare damage without any sort of buffs from the splash damage. So here we go. And this does 576k, so that is without any buffs from the splash damage. Now, if you are going to be using splash damage anointment, which this Chaos Sin, as you can see, does have the splash damage anointment on it, I'll go ahead and show you guys that right now. So 567k goes to 1 million. So that is almost a 100% uh, damage increase, and you can only imagine how much more that's going to be doing uh, when you activate your elemental projector. And I can't tell you the exact number because it doesn't show you like you know one million point whatever. So I'll go ahead and show you like with the elemental projector, it still does you know a ton of damage. So we'll go ahead and do that. My elemental projector is now active. Go ahead and switch to this, and it's doing 1 million. And of course, I'll go ahead and show you guys right now. So that's that's really it for the gear. I mean, it's all sort of self-explanatory. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you guys right now the actual damage numbers it can be doing. So I'll go ahead and uh, get all my buffs and stuff, and then I will use my um, I want your projector, and then I'll switch to this to get the um, anointment buff and then I'll go ahead and go into photo mode and show you guys what it's actually capable of so we're gonna go ahead and shoot him up do I get the oh wait I forgot right you have to kill an enemy and of course there's no enemies here but whenever you kill an enemy you're getting that 10% damage buff and I don't know why I thought shooting him would have worked but um, but yeah once you kill enemies and stuff your damage gets increased even more and even more and even more and as you're killing enemies, you're getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And I can't really show that on the testimony, but just believe me, it does work and it works extremely well. So here we go. I'll go ahead and uh, activate my elementary projector and then I'll start spamming away and I'll show you guys how much damage he's actually capable of. Oh.
All right, now we're going to go ahead and photo, go ahead and go into photo mode. And you can see right there, it's a long stream of millions and millions of damage. And that is extremely good against normal enemies, badass enemies, as long as they're not resistant to fire. If they are res resistant to fire in any way, that damage goes from 1 million to like 200k, which is still a respective amount of damage, but it's like you're going to be taking much longer to kill them. And that's why I'm going to go ahead and give it a fair shot against flesh enemies and people that aren't resistant to fire. But if you're fighting anything that isn't resistant to fire, this build will actually absolutely destroy them. But yeah, that's really it for the um, that's really it for the uh, in depth part of the video. We're going to go ahead and test it out on Pandora, and then I will also go ahead and test out the bossing abilities on uh, Gigamine. So I'll see you guys there. Hey guys, so I'm here at Conrad's Hold, and um, I just started, but I forgot that my mic was muted, so I was I was just talking to no one. So here we go again. I decided to do it at Conrad's Hold because it has a huge assortment of enemies, and there's a lot of badasses. There's a lot of people with armor and stuff, and there's not that many people that are resistant to fire. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and mute myself, and I'll come back when I'm done. I'll see you guys there. Alright, so as you can see, uh, well I just finished, but as you can see right here, this is why you want to have um, <laughs> Look the Wounds so you can get revived a lot. Because you do go down quite a lot, but since you have the um, Lick the Wounds and also the things that help your uh, pet survive, uh, you, you do get revived quite a lot with Lick the Wounds. But yeah, as you can see, it does have relatively good um, damage, but you're quite squishy with being with Flax, so this might be better if you're trying to like... Um, mob and stuff. It's more of just a fun build. I wouldn't actually use this if you're doing anything serious, but it is extremely fun. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to Gigamine now and show you guys how it does with Boston. I'll see you guys there. Hey guys, so I'm here at Gigamine and um, the first thing I want to say is that this is my first time I've ever fought a boss with this build, so I don't expect it to go too well. And if I die or if he dies or whatever, I'll be posting that right now so you guys can see an actual like good look at the build. Um, but yeah, so I'll go ahead and meet myself and show you guys just how well the build does. I'll see you guys at the, uh, when I'm done. Hey guys, so I'm back and um, it did pretty well. The, so the reason why I went down there, and you might get this a few times when you're in the middle of battle, is that I accidentally casted my Nova or my Gamma Burst, which is something that you don't want to do. And you can see right there, it costed me my life. So 
try not to catch a uh, gamma burst. I accidentally did it because I got too close to him, and I guess I went inside of his model, and it casted it on top of him. So that's something you don't want to do uh, if you can help it. So yeah, um, I hope you guys like the build. If you guys want to the build and you're on PC, or sorry, not PC. If you guys want the build and you're on PS4, go ahead and add me. My name is Slowbrew, with an I instead of an L. And um, yeah. So before I end the video, I want to say that I did get a few. Um, people saying they did not really enjoy, they don't really enjoy the fact that I started doing a giveaway. And the reason why I started doing this giveaway is because I wanted to get feedback from you guys to help myself um, improve, my, improve my channel. But since you guys already said that you guys don't want the giveaway, I will not be doing the giveaway. But instead of that, I will be hosting drop lobbies on PS4 um, every Saturday. So starting today, because today's Saturday, the day I'll be uploading this. So I'll, every Saturday, I will be doing a drop lobby of all my new gear that I've been getting over the week. And yeah, so if you want that, go ahead and add me on PS4. Again, uh, slow brew with a I instead of an L and I'll go ahead and post that on screen right now also so you guys can uh, see it better and yeah uh, if you guys liked go ahead and like and subscribe on that fun stuff and I'll see you guys later bye